Hi, I'm Lawrence Whippler. For some time now, I've been working on a theory of everything that would unite the fundamental forces. Now, this theory of everything is based on the magnetic monopole. In this video, I will focus on what the atom would look like using this new theory. Now, each atom has in its core what I call a particle of matter. This particle of matter represents one of the many elements. Now, each atom is a magnetic dipole with its own magnetic lines of force. Now, every element or atom has a different number of magnetic lines of force. The more lines of force you have, the heavier the atom becomes. Now, a different element will have a different number of lines of force. They will also be at a different position relative to the atom's core. This is what creates different elements. This is also how uh, atoms combine together. I'll explain that in another video. But each atom is a north, has a north and south magnetic pole because it too is a dipole. Now most people will ask, if an atom is a dipole, a bar magnet is a dipole, why don't they stick to each other? Well, it's because of the scale of their magnetism. And by that meaning is if you have a large bar magnet and a very small bar magnet such as an atom with your north and south pole. Now, each magnet has lines of force moving both directions. This is because monopoles move opposite of each other. The north monopole and south monopole move in opposite directions. Here I just show one line of force which has both monopoles moving in that opposite direction. Now notice the small bar magnet and the magnetic lines of force from the large magnet will appear to move straight through the atom's core. Now, b because they move straight through, it's the only thing this atom will do is orientate itself, just like a compass needle orientates itself to the Earth's magnetic north and south pole. Now, the only way an atom or any other dipole for that matter will become attracted to another dipole is if their magnetism is on the same scale where they will connect like that. Now the reason why they connect, I'm going to change the poles here, is because these magnetic lines of force curve as they exit, bringing them closer together. Now this is what brings them together. You're always going to have opposites attract, which is what you have here, because here you have a surplus of south monopoles and a surplus of north monopoles. Now that is why your atoms will not attract anything else but other atoms because they're on the same scale. Thank you.